Hi, in this video tutorial, we'll go through the exported sheet, we'll add a product into the sheet, and then we'll import that sheet in our OpenCart website to see how actually importing or adding products using a sheet works, right? So let's begin. As you already know, you need to log in into your admin to start off. So enter your username, your password, click on login. Now go to the export import tab in your menu. Click on export import. Now you will be redirected to the extensions page. In the last lecture, we covered what is the use of all these different tabs and how to export sheet. So let's export a sheet quickly. Okay. Click on port products, click on export. As you can see, the sheet has been downloaded. Let's open the sheet now. So this is the exported sheet. This sheet comprises of the product data, right? Because if you have noticed, we exported products, not anything else. So this sheet comprises of products data. So let's go through the sheet and see what all data it comprises of and what are these different tabs available over here, right? So number one is products tab. In this products tab, there is all the data related to a product. This is product ID, which is unique to every product. This is product name. This is categories ID. So in order to avoid any mistake, we have given an option to enter the product category IDs, not the category names, because sometimes it can be case sensitive or there can be other issues. So these are category IDs. Now you must be wondering how would you know that what is the category ID of a particular category? So for that, it's very simple. You can simply export the category sheet and there you'll find all that data. So let's get back to our existing sheet. Here you can enter your SKU, UPC, EAN, ISBN, MPN. Here you can enter the quantity, the model number, the manufacturer, image name. So I'll tell you how to. So I'll tell you how to import images. Here you mention whether the shipping is required, yes or no, the price, the reward points date added this is something which you don't need to enter date modified also this the system automatically generates date available like from what point you want to make this product available weight length and all the options which you find in a product when you are adding it manually i mean one by one into your open cart admin so these are all those options now going to the this tab additional images using this you can add as many images as you want to a product you just need to mention the product id and the image path here it's special here you can enter or mention the special price of the product and also the start and end date i hope you remember when you add a product manually by going to the open cart admin there you have an option to set a special price from a particular date. So this works exactly like that. Discounts, reward points, the complete point system. These are the product options. If you want to add any product option values, these are product attributes. These are product filters. As we haven't created any filter yet, so that's why it's blank. And a very important thing, SEO keywords. So uh, we have given different, different worksheet in a spreadsheet so that the data is a bit organized and you know what particular thing lies where. If we would have given all this in a single sheet only, then it would have been so much cluttered and confusing. So this is how I exported sheet looks like. Now let's add a product to this sheet and try importing this sheet. So how we'll do that? Number one, mention the product ID. As you can see, the last product ID is 50. So I'll mention 51. 
and the product name i'll mention women's graphic t-shirt okay so for category let's export the category sheet let's open it and as you can see there is these this is the category id right so suppose the the product which i'm adding i want to add it to let's assume software okay so the category id is 17 so the category id is 17 sku grp1 like you can enter yours i'm just entering any random so that i can show you quantity i'm entering 10 model there is no model which i want to mention manufacturer let's leave it blank image name so in image name what i'll do is i'll enter catalog slash images or i'll write product images slash one dot jpg so why i've entered this i'll tell you when i'll be uploading or importing the sheet right shipping required yes shipping is required price i'll mention one let's mention 4.99 points i don't want to add any points date added and modified needs to be left blank date available i want to make it available since like just enter random date and past wait wait uh, let's let me enter zero the weight unit is kg as mentioned above length i don't want to mention okay length unit centimeter status you can mention true as mentioned above text class id you can enter it as per the text classes which you have created i'm just mentioning nine description so in description what you need to do is you can copy the one mentioned above and then you can make changes to it so you just need to mention this h1 tag and then whatever you want to mention over here best quality products right meta title you can mention as per your choice graphic t-shirt women meta description let's leave it blank meta keywords i don't want to mention it stock status id so this stock status id is the out of stock status here this is store id i'll leave it blank now layout i'll leave blank related ids i am not going to mention it and sort order let's enter zero subtract stock that should be true okay i'll paste this value minimum stock which a user or minimum the minimum quantity which a user can press purchase is one so now going to the additional images tab here 51 51 here i'll mention like 2.jpg and again 51 with 3.jpg perfect now let's import the sheet okay so go to go back to the extension click on import tab here you'll find a couple of options so as you can see there are two options number one update the data and number two delete old data and import sheet we need to just update the data so we'll select this option now let's select the sheet which we just saved now as you can see there is an option to select the images to be imported now we'll get back to the point that why we wrote this path over here okay so click on choose files and edit button so this new pop-up which just came is catalog okay so this is this 
catalog now for slash product images so in this catalog there is a folder named product images and in this folder we have uploaded our images 1.jpg 2.jpg and 3.jpg i have just uploaded this using this upload button so this is how we are telling system that where our images lie in the system okay so the images are already uploaded now let's import the sheet now click on import let's find out the product we just added here it is women's graphic t-shirt as you can see all the details which we mentioned in the sheet are available over here like all the details are present over here so that means we have successfully uploaded a product using sheet so this way you can upload as many products as you want in one go i hope now it's clear to you on how to upload a product using export import pro easy if you still have any query you can watch this tutorial again or if you need any assistance please drop a ticket on our support thank you very much